to what? You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. Hello guys and welcome to another episode of Ro Road to Road. What the hell am I talking about? Okay, Road to 120 Slayer. And yeah, behind me there's a big ass huge teddy bear who looks creepy as hell, but I like it. It's my girlfriend, so don't judge it. I bought it. Like for this teddy bear, like it. Okay, so before I start saying any bullshit, um, I would like to say that if you like my content, consider subscribing to my channel. I'm begging to subscribe to my channel because I am a beggar and I like to beg, you know. I will suck your cookie for a subscribe. Okay, okay. So, yeah, as you can see, guys, I'm slowly but definitely going for the 100 subscriber goal and uh, I hope that I will get it soon because I'm now at 71 subscribers really amazing thank you everyone for supporting me it means a lot okay so if you're new to this channel I'm doing a road to 120 slayer which is really fun to do for my slayer task I choose my decent gear which is as you can see a Nima core body and Lex which is tier 80 armor I don't really need better armor for slaying because it's is just a waste of my money and I'm not buying those um, degradable armors for tasks that I can do without degradable ones like uh, why do I need to buy some degradable armor that's gonna deg degrade and I will lose my money when I can buy I can simply buy 80 level armor and use it for the rest of my life so it's what why people do that I mean 80 tier 80 armor is the best you can get why you need a bigger one maybe for max deeps i don't know i don't i just simply don't know i don't care i don't want to okay so yeah so in my my opinion this is the best range armor to use for sling next i have pernix cowl nightmare gauntlets uh which are amazing if you're using snipe ability because they give 25 percent more accuracy when using this ability and as well you can move while hitting so that's kind of amazing i like it uh amulet of souls of course ring of death pernix boots max cape which is the best i can use at the moment maybe one day hmm, comb cape will be Nah, nah, I don't want to think about it. Uh, Max Keep is good good for now, good for now. So, yeah, a Quiver and Aura. I do my Slayer tasks with Vampirism Aura because I think it's the best Aura at the moment. For myself, it's only my opinion, guys. If you, if you want to argue about that, comment section down below, we can chat about that. So, yeah, so this is it for the setup I use and I hope I answered your question about my gear. Uh, so now, now let's go and see what we managed to get from the actual Slayer tasks. My first Slayer task was uh, one of my favorite ones, to be honest. 155 elves. And as always, I chose to kill Eye of Earth scouts. I don't know how the hell it's called. How, how should I pronounce it? Eye of Earth scouts? Because I have tried many levels, many elves, not levels, <laughs> elves, in the Privdina city. And I can say that these elves drop the most of the loot which is a rune armor and coins and coins of course in rare occasions you might get crystal seed drops which can be sold for decent money as well but as i said it's kind of rare you have to be a lucky person to get a few of them at least from one task uh, so as you guys know this is one of my favorite tasks because of good xp and gp so let's go and see how much loot i managed to get from this task from this task and it is to do drums to do 1.8 million gp as well this task uh, took me around 25 minutes or something like that to be uh to do maybe a little bit less maybe just just maybe but i can assure you that this is this is the the correct time because i fill my entire slayer task and i know how much time every single task takes me so if you're watching this episode you will not only know how much money i earned for myself but you can count it for yourself how much you can get an hour from these elves so it's really convenient so yeah on my second task i got to kill 173 at demo and it was fun to do well i would really like to say that this task is is something i will always do because of the loot and of course xp I will never cancel this task and I will kill those bastards as soon as I can. Well, the main reason is that you need at least 150 dungeoneering to enter this goddamn place. 
I mean, such a high requirement, what the hell? Oh my god. I mean, this is one of, this was one of the hardest parts of Slayer because you need such a high requirement for these mobs. Just based on this requirement, I will always do a demo thinking that not everyone can do it. Of course, not everyone because you need such a high requirement. So yeah, let's go and see how much loot I managed to get and it is 4.8 million GP. And this whole task took me around 1 hour and 5 minutes, so not bad I think we can see that this task took 1 hour. Let's see, it took 1 hour. On my third task I got to kill luckily enough more at demo and this time I got 175 so in total now I have killed 6.4k at demo creatures. I mean this is not a big achievement because I saw my clan mates with at least 20k kills and um, they said uh, that they had just few blood shards drop, few blood shards drops, which is really unlucky and yeah. So on this task I wasn't really lucky uh, of course. I'm not lucky en enough, I need to be more lucky. On the opposite side I was really unlucky and my drops were kinda shitty to be honest. So yeah, let's go and see what shitty drops I got. So I got 3.8 million GP, basically 1 million lower from my last task, this task took me around 1 hour, so yeah, sadly enough. On my fourth task I got to kill 275 Dagonauts and when I got them I thought, oh hell no, oh no 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 no, hell no. I won't be killing 275 Dagonaut Kings, <laughs> so I went for the basic ones, so in the dungeon, mainly to get over to get over with the task and maybe getting some decent XP from them. So I didn't pick up anything, I was just CFKing this whole task, so... Yeah, this task took me around 20 minutes to do and it was really easy, I didn't actually bring anything, I just had to bang few times because they became non-aggressive, so yeah, this is it, I don't know what I, what should I tell you more about this task, I just came here, smacked some Dagonauts and got some good XP, so yeah, that's it. On my fifth task I got to kill 155 Aerids and before I say anything I would like to say that I didn't do Aerids before because I didn't have a sight and I always thought that this task takes ages, ages, come on, to do. <sighs> and I always skipped it, yeah, I always skipped it, I don't know why. Now I know that this task is really decent and I won't be skipping it anymore. Uh, so yeah, money wise and of course XP wise this task is amazing. So I managed to get 1.8 million GP and it took me to get this money around 40 minutes. Uh, well, I know that the demo is way better but I need to switch some tasks because it will get boring soon and yeah, I need to switch something up. Okay, so on my 6th task I got to kill 279 water fiends which was fun to do and uh, to be honest I really want to do more of these water fiends because they are insane slayer xp, I mean insane slayer xp and um, as well they drop very good amount of crimson charms, I know that I am 99 summoning but still 200 million xp it's a lot, it's a long road so yeah I need to be collecting those now so yeah i need to collect them now so as you know this task was just for xp i didn't pick up anything from the ground and the whole task took me around 35 minutes let's say 33 minutes something like that so it was fun and fast so yeah on my seventh task i got to kill more at demo 230 of them this time and what i can say that i really love this task and in one day i managed to kill almost 600 a demo and unfortunately I didn't get any blood shards well this is really unlucky because the blood shard drop is something like I don't know 1 in 500 something like that well I have said that I have I have said everything about this task let's go and see what I managed to get and it is 4.5 million GP um, and this task took me around 1 hour 20 minutes so I don't know it's maybe it's decent, okay, I like, money is money, so okay. On my 8th task I got to kill more what fiends, 292 of them, a lot of them actually. I was really happy that I got this task, I really wanted to do more of them, and BAM, I got more, so 
how lucky is that? Which was, as I said, really fun and chill task. Just bunch of the time I AFK'd and collected those XP's. So I finished the task in 45 minutes. So yeah, 300 water fiends in 45 minutes, not bad, not bad. On my ninth task I got to kill 174 elves, as always I chose to kill scouts and this time I didn't get anything too special. To be honest, I was getting just basic loot, some rune drops, some shitty drops, but yeah, I just call them basic drops. Which was, a, which was as I said, basic drops. So in total I got 1.9 million in 20 minutes. I mean, it's good. Uh, so in one hour I could get something around 6 million GP. It's, uh, it's something like QBD. So, yeah, kind of decent. And pretty much it's AFK, you don't have to watch how your HP when you die or something. You just chill and have fun. So, yeah. And on my last task I got to kill 80 Crest Automatons. I don't really know why I'm doing this task, but I just like it. I don't get good XP or GP, but I just like how, the f how fast I can do this task or I just like the environment. I don't know. So... I don't know. So I managed to get 300k and it took me 10 minutes, so actually it was kind of good. It, it was kind of good. I liked it. Okay guys, so now let's talk how much GP I managed to get from 10 tasks and it is 90 million GP. Well, to be exact, it is 90.2 million GP, but I will say just 90. So I'm not complaining, yeah, I'm not complaining that I got this amount, but I'm happy as well because in my previous episodes, but but I'm not happy as not happy as well, because in my previous episodes I managed to get over 40 million GP in one single day. One single day 40 million and now 20 million, that's like half that, but on the other hand I managed to get real good XP and it's 2.8 million GP. XP 2.8 million holy shit in one day Wow, okay, okay, so I mean it's amazing <laughs> Amazing XP wise, but not GP wise. So yeah on some episodes I get more XP on some more GP so It's really fun to do this episode because it's uh, fun for me to count how much I gain how much uh, Achievements I do so it's really fun. I, I like it by the way guys, I would like to say that I have put at all of my lamps on Slayer, uh, so I managed to get some bonus XP, and if you're thinking that I got more XP than I should, that's because of the bonus XP, bonus XP. So yeah, this is it for this video, I hope that it was fun for you to watch, and if it was, consider liking this video and maybe subscribing. And as always, have fun scaping, I hope you will have fun scaping, and as always, PEACE!